All right, guys, welcome back. It's your boy, Motorman Dan. Today, we're going to be talking about the Snow Cannon. It's a short range cannon that freezes and damages enemies. You have to freeze 75 enemies to complete. You have two unique upgrades. One's deal acid damage, the other's reduce cooldown. The level upgrades is to increase targeting range. Now, as far as the upgrade I bring, I usually, if I bring these, it's because I'm doing co op endless high score. I bring whatever's missing. So, one person will typically bring acid, one person will bring freeze. Um, so it depends on which one my co-op partner is bringing and I'll bring the other one. Um, we typically put it, uh, far enough away from the front of the kill box so that it does not spray and freeze enemies outside the kill box. That way they only get affected when they're inside of it that, you know, to generate more combos and, and, uh, kill things whenever they're affected by multiple, uh, sources of damage to increase our score, right? As that's typical. Um, as far as not trying to chase high scores on endless, I really don't use it. Even when I'm going solo, um, high score, I probably wouldn't use it just because it's, uh, it's, it, it's somewhat reliable. Um, but there's just, there's just so many, you know, traps that you're going to need, um, that the snow cannon kind of takes a back seat unless you have the ability to bring it with a partner. That being said, uh, let's just jump into the game file. All right. First thing to take a look at is the snow gun attributes. Now, um, it does one damage per projectile, okay? It's got 20 projectiles per second. 20 projectiles per second. That's a lot of projectiles. So it's basically 20 damage a second. However, however, they each do one damage, which is... It's kind of a good thing, I would say, because in Endless, and this is why I bring it on Endless, and one of the reasons other people do as well, um, at wave uh, 30... Enemies start to have a uh, crowd control reduction at 80%, and then 60, and then 40, and then at uh, 60, or is it? Yeah, at at, uh, at wave 60, they have maximum crowd control reduction of 80%. Now, you take 80% of uh, 3 seconds, which is a normal freeze for a dart spitter, uh, or the freeze wall, and you're left with, I don't know, like less than 1. You're left with less than one anyways for this because it's 1.5 second uh, freeze duration. However, because there's 20 projectiles per second, it keeps re procking which means when you're late game endless, this will freeze a lot better than anything else you have. Another reason to bring it, right? For endless, that is. Um, <clears throat> the spray length here is... Uh, 900 units, which is um, six grid squares. Grid squares the size of an archer, so six archers in a row from where this trap is. Uh, it'll target out to there and spray out to there. Uh, and it does two sweeps. One left, one right. Well, let's look at the trap protos here. We have a cooldown of 15 seconds, kind of on the high side. Uh, trigger duration of 3.5, so it lasts for 3.5 seconds. You got 20 damage a second for 3.5 seconds. Uh, 70 damage. Uh, total possible, but I mean, you're not gonna, you're, it's not gonna do 70 damage to one unit because it's gonna spray left and right. Um, but yeah, there it is. Uh, coin value is a thousand. Uh, site radius is 900, like like we showed earlier, the 900 for the spray length as well. So yeah, um, and it costs six goals to unlock. Now, if we look at the upgrade protos, we see here that it increases targeting range by 150. So that's gonna take you from your um, from your six grid squares, it's going to take you out to seven because you add an extra grid square here and an extra one here. So that takes you out to eight um, and then takes you out to nine. So this will be triggering uh, nine squares out if the spray can also go nine squares out. <clears throat> now, if, if the spray hits a trajectory where it's, you know, shooting uh, in a certain direction, it could spray farther than that. The projectiles will go farther than that, but um, the spray itself is not does not try to go past the nine grid squares maximum. Okay, here we have deals acid damage. It takes it to melting. Primary stats effect becomes zero because it becomes something else. Um, primary becomes acid. Primary damage is three. Um, so, yeah, three damage a second instead of one damage a second. Again, 3.5 seconds. I mean, that's not bad. You know, it's not bad for damage. It is acid damage, so there's nothing really strong against it other than bile bats, but um, there are things that are weak against it. Could be pretty useful. Again, though, it's just a spray. It's not, it's not, you know, 
pummeling one unit, it could it easily misses a bunch of units. But to pr provide the melting debuff to a lot of enemies and over, um, you know, with that uh, uh, debuff duration of, you know, minus 80%, uh, this definitely is a really good way to apply acid as well. Um, the acid geyser is also a good way to do it, but you know, you can use your floor traps for flip traps anyways, so you might as well use this for your acid um, debuffing the enemies. And then we have the second unique upgrade, and here is the reduced cooldown, and by two. So, is it worth it? Mm, maybe, maybe. Um, you know, the cooldown's pretty, pretty high up there. Um, so yeah, uh, you know, let me know what you guys think about it. Um, if you use it, if you don't use it, if you like it, if you don't like it, why, why not? Um, and you know, like I said, I really only do it for endless scoring for combos. Um, it's definitely better for combos than the ice start spitter when you're wanting to apply ice, but ice start spitter is so strong that things will oftentimes die in the kill box that has the I start spitter. So, mm, I don't know. You tell me, you tell me. Um, yeah, let me know if you use it or not, and uh, what you think about it and stuff. Uh, we don't really need to show it off because there's really nothing super special about it. It does pretty much what it says it's going to do. Um, there's really no unique ways I can think about using it. It will sometimes... Um, shoot into a wall if you put it in a corner um, because it'll it'll trace the enemy going around a corner or something and it'll spray into a corner so you just gotta watch out for where you're placing it uh, and just make sure that it's not you know obstructed <clears throat> so that way this thing can shoot through other than that though um, I don't think there's anything to talk about yeah okay so yeah anyways guys as always don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe follow I stream on twitch upload to YouTube and I will catch you guys on the flip side all right deuces